Greetings everyone, it is Ark Crosswind. In this video, we'll talk about the title being the topic of this video, being the what I'm going to talk about. Slipstickle Treasure, the reason why nobody knows who I am. So, uh, getting straight into it without, as if I was a Koi concrete, I guess. Which I am technically even by that controversial bias, but... Uh, the reason I'm not well known is what I call a being a uh, slip slipstickle uh, um, treasure. It's the idea that um, there is a significance and a blessing being that if if no one knows who I am, then they don't have to know how much better off they would be with or without me. But whether that's a good or a bad thing, whether it's a good or a bad perspective of me, you know that's that's the significance of it. That's the blessing is that if they don't know who I am. They never had to have to deal with me whether it, was, it would have been better for worse. Personally, I, I'm optimistic. I prefer to see it for better. Because I know that there's a lot with me already. The reason I call it subsequent is because this would be a way to not have to be taken advantage of pe by people. Which I mentioned before in this channel. Uh, not have, not pers by, by personal example. Not necessarily. Not always at least. But uh, having to not have to be taken advantage of. But also not having to be with people who would have used me for good reasons. And still not have to deal with them. Even if they had good intentions. And so it's like a good mix of that stuff. This hu this is not a human game console, console podcast, by the way. But it could be, maybe. This human game is quite strange. Like, if you've seen my salt and vinegar video, I uploaded like twice on this channel. Uh, in different times. Um, the salt and vinegar, where I said life was getting scarier and I didn't have to know what was around the corner. Even though I already knew enough of what was going on. And even didn't know enough of what had already had been happening. So, not so much lacking closure or, f or f refusing to move on, but more like, it's like, a, you know, you don't have a way to tell what was happening, so why the hell would it be there and then not know what's there until maybe even later, maybe? But, you know, human game sucks. It's it's really, it's, it's, re <laughs> it's really something else. But uh, I can say that much to make sense out of that. But, but why would it be a good thing for people not to know who I am? Well, again, it's like, I can't be taken advantage of, it can't even be used for good intentions by people who deserve it and still not have to have to deal with those people even then because there can be better, better ways to do it even then, right? So, uh, the, the idea of a slipstick treasure means that I will be then instead reserved for the people who do deserve me and the people who have even the best uh, lineups for what I've got for myself. Because, see, here's the thing. When you, t like, this is a pet peeve of mine, I realized in recent years, Never tell someone that you have their best interests at heart because you don't even know what their interests are. Like, and, and another thing is that even if you're their best friend, who are you to tell them that when you don't even have to follow through with their intentions? Like, that's the thing. It's like, you're not, you're not going to always listen to your friends, right? So same for them. Like, if, you're, if, if you told them that you're an asshole, straight up. <laughs> like, they, they, might as well, they might as well cut you out of their life, honestly. But it's like, so... The people who deserve to be with you, the people who really are going to fluctuate with your energy, so to speak, and may or may not understand you, but they still have a way to get to you and know who you really are without having to communicate that to them directly, so to speak, having, without having to directly communicate that at all. It's like they are going to most likely match you way better than people who only knew what you said and not know, not what you meant. And it's like a, it's a weird amalgam how this works, but it's like a... With me particularly, I know that I fail to talk to people who were just like me, and even when they were opposites attract wise style stuff, between opposites and similar people like me, deflecting and accidentally um, outcasting and isolating myself from those people on accident, as if I wanted to avoid them, no, right, yeah, because it's like a irony of that stuff, as if I don't know what that word irony means, unfortunately, just to check on some people, but uh, or some other words, I guess, not particularly. So, yeah, it's a uh, it's human game sucks. It's it's really like it's something else to like have to like want the attention and the, the uh, put your face in front of people, people, and maybe good or bad way maybe. But to even think that you want the the attention and you want the uh, ability to socialize the way you expected to, and still fail to, and then uh, have to wonder if it was just a. Uh, meant to be which and to an extent it already was honestly because you, you can make your own reasons for anything uh but which is mostly which is mostly the best way to go about it, even if it's not necessary or whatever else but 
you you hear me now and you're like okay you don't sound that bad <clears throat> you don't seem that hard to communicate with but why would you have to be this hard on yourself if you knew that there was a reason for saying the work of this way in their, in their faction like to have something that actually was that good of a blessing to not to de- not have to deal with assholes most of the other assholes at least not, not all of them combined unfortunately but but uh why would I have to, oh, by the way, why would I have to fake my nonverbal cues and my emotions to s- sound human and believable? Why would I have to uh, make content that has nothing to do with claymation and then still act like it was good? Because it was good for me. It was very good to be able to make that content for a while. Why do I have to worry about what people think of me while I'm not getting to do what I want in the first place? And then act like, and then say I'm a, I'm a professional scientist or some shit like that. Uh, no monetization for me, I guess. Say I'm a scientist, scientist professional, and then so avoid being an artist while knowing very well that art is a big part of who I am, whether I evidently prove it or not. And the evident proof of it being the reason why I was subjecting me in the first place sometimes. But yeah, of the artist versus scientist stuff. But why does all that happen? For a reason, maybe? Does it happen because I just need to be aware of the fact that even if it doesn't make sense right now, someday it will, and that maybe it will just be a thing where I just... I forgive the fact that the first 26 years or so feel blank in a sense that there are fluctuations in the other years and decades, honestly, but there were like different ones. There were like, there was like a way too many highs and lows more before I could even realize what highs and lows even were. So way too much nostalgia before I even realized I had any. And then way too much uh, continuity before I realized anything was happening in the first place. You know, those ebbs and flows of a, uh, this isn't happening, but it's happened too many times. And the ver- inverse of that being that it's obviously just done to death, but nobody even knows that they existed. So it's like <laughs> terrible, right? Terrible irony there. Again, I don't. Apparently, I don't know what, know what the word irony means or many other words I use. Big fight dollar words, uh, gibberish, wall text kind of stuff, crypto, uh, cryptograph kind of uh, too much talking. See, I clearly have that trauma. I clearly do. I I have that communication trauma, that uh, rape culture trauma, that uh. Life, life story, um, what else was there? It was quality content, and then there was uh, the fifth one I put in that video, that short. It was so it was rape culture, uh, quality content, life story, poor communication, and uh, action orientation maybe, or maybe it was just some kind of like a, something somewhere like the five you know, list list lingo gambit, not gambit from CS:GO though. I mean, uh, not Destiny, wherever. I finally made real world examples, Tony. You you know how to do it. Don't say you can't, even though people assume you're being pessimistic when you say you can't, and that's kind of weird. But yeah, that's all my end. Me being rational and saying what other people are saying, me not being rational and saying. But uh, it is quite weird. Solipsical treasure, right? Being the kind of person where you don't have to worry about not being seen or heard, even though people tell you that shit, and it's like, well, no wonder you you're worrying about me not making people see and heard. You're not even trying to be visible yourself, coward. <laughs> I'm not gonna call his name out though, but uh, I, I swear I think YouTube just t- tailors everything they, that they, they update to the slide based on the, everything he says. Because <laughs> everything there's some there are certain words he'll say. This person I'm talking about that uh like uh he'll say like engagement and seen and heard and uh uh videos people want to watch and shit like that. And it's like and that the exact same words we used in the YouTube blog and be like oh my god. This this guy, big brain YouTube, <laughs> either they're copying him or he's copying them. I don't know, but yeah, he's he, he he's my he's one of my anti mentors. Like you know, people like uh, BJB from Incredibots. Freaking, uh, I'm not saying his name right now because I, I I don't want him to have to watch this later and be like, well, shit, he he autos onto me, uh, for no good reason than just have a bragging point for no reason than to be shamefully arrogant or something. Something I didn't have to be, even if it wasn't like that at all in his image, but yeah. Anti mentors, by the way, freaking people that you don't want to have to listen to, or at least not want to become. Even as per my other advice, and I keep calling the sage wisdom for a reason, not having to become other people because you can always be your own thing. Like the way I word this is by saying, just because you you're like just because you do, doing the same thing as other people doesn't make you the same as them, and that was something I always stood by for the one to two years plus I've been saying that ever since. And I learned that from my uh, one of my last ex crush uh, interests. Like, I, made, I didn't even date the girl. I didn't even go out with them in real life. I didn't even know them in real life. So, it was like, you think that's an e-crush? Maybe it is. But it's like, it happens to be that thing where it's just, 
it's it's just that much across 10 minutes okay uh 10 minutes is okay but happens when you one of those things where you just you learn a really deep valuable life lesson alternative life lesson at that point actually because i'll make other people mad to not see you learn the main life lessons in life but it's like uh but do you wonder do you wonder if it's like a, a thing to just be on your grind and on your shit youtube monetization on your shit <laughs> thinking about the things that you learned from your own li- your own life and the re- meanings and me- meanings and reasons you gave to your own life and whether that was necessary or not or even if it was a point but uh to be able to do that and not have anyone else know that you did that old man the sea stall and then just be wondering if at all anyone ever will know and even if they never get to know that it was still there and that's the very the beautiful cliche point honestly so we'll push for another uh, five minutes actually we'll push for like four or five minutes maybe the 16 uh 16 is okay well from 11 to 16 okay 16 minutes then okay celestial treasure one more time um i i am quite my own treasure right thinking about being unique or relatable right thinking about not thinking too hard being the kind of person you want to not want to believe is existing but at the same time he's arrogant enough to already set that by himself in real time so it's like you know if no one else is saying that that's fine but it's to, to say that and, and imply somehow that other people are saying that when no one else other than me so far very solistically said that so it's like if i'm saying that myself so far and no one else already said it or even if i don't know that they said it then yeah not solistic enough because the idea of solipsism in general is that you don't think anything else exists other than yourself because that's the only thing you can prove. When I say solipsical treasure, I'm not saying that I don't think anyone else sees me as treasure. I'm saying that so far, because no one knows who I really am, no matter how much I dox myself and explore myself on purpose, illegally or illegal or not, guarantee, guarantee not, how much I actually make a, 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 big, a big hassle out of being exiled and isolated, even though I'm in t- deliberately asking for attention, socializing, traveling, philosophizing, all that other stuff, without leaving my city, without le- without actually being a textbook philosopher with Aristotle and Plato and all that other shit, without even actually s- interacting with people in real life, or even on the internet for that matter, as often as I could be, even if I don't know how to do that for some reason, or if I'm excusing that, then yeah, substitute treasure. Someone that no one knows who he is, no matter how much he tries to exploit and dox himself over and over again. And uh, do that, desperate or not, but to have it actually be a thing. Failing to communicate with people, failing to be appropriate with people, failing to actually be himself, and failing to even know what's better than, what's beyond himself, actually. And so, that's my story. What's yours? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it is quite terrible in some ways, it is, it, not gonna lie. But, at the same time, you have to wonder the guy who can't make examples. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna stop saying that, but it's the guy who fails to make specific examples to illustrate his life or the examples he uses and makes up end up making it even more confusing than it really would have been if it was confusing at all at that point. By that, but what does it make? Was it what does it take for someone like me to be that confusing and that irrational and dangerous, and then still be here and alive and not in jail or not? Like, like, not like not behind bars or not, like, freaking down the road or committing, like, some uh, form of uh, <coughs> not aliving because of depression, which I hopefully never get to that point. But uh, I didn't want to have to say that a suicide word. Oh, I already did. Well, okay. Uh, I didn't want to say that and, and then make people think I'm actually depressed because I'm not. But depression is not even as legible as people think it is. It's like you're never truly depressed. Like, you're just discouraged. Like, I, I, shout out to George Bruno, by the way. He's, or even base fuzz for that matter, or uh, rash no not rational male but more like uh so like base fuzz George Bruno. Some of the other guys, some of you are even subscribed to this channel already. Like uh, some of you from a uh, MGTOW community are are subscribed to this channel. I don't know if all you're watching at this point, but um, some of you from No Fab and Super Attention, some of you from uh, heck even some of you from the music community. I don't even think the music community even cares about this content, but uh, some of you are, are musicians watching my content. Like wow actually cut, cut off for that but like, one more time and then again one more time solipsical treasure it's the idea of being not known but you are still very much invaluable right so someone like me if not just not 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 just me not just from proof not even just from uh arrogance okay i'm just saying that 
Okay, just just to be illustrating that poetic point, without being weird about that speech on purpose. File is on purpose, obviously, but if that makes sense. The last minute I got for this. If you cannot prove to anyone else that you did something really great for yourself, rinse and repeat, right? Done to death without ever existing or ever being known in the first place. And the inverse again of that being that it's so out of the question, but it's still mandatory and crucial, right? So this is the weird amalgam of forbidden and mandatory and taboo and crooks uh, forcing. So what are you going to do about that? When your life is so unfair that it's still a big blessing to have every other treasure that's in your life and the contrast of those two things, the big great ambitions you have and the great great ideas you have and the big grand history and story you'll tell the people about your own life, what will you do with that celestic treasure? 